Hello my fellow Uyen and welcome to our weekly recap and day of the Uyen TV. Wanna start the weekly recap? Let's roll! In this episode we'll look at the games Hero of Many by Trickstar Arts, Poker Solitaire by Chuck Smith, Death by OMG WTF Games, Dead Rushing by Dancing Cat Development, and Tales of Illyria by Little Killers. It seems like every week it's getting harder to pick just one game of the week. The wonderful thing about this is that not one game is like the other. That's what I love about the Ouya. The games are not dominated by FPS games, but developer actually try stuff out to see if it could work. Since we had to choose one game of the week, we went with Hero of Many because it had the marginal edge over the other games. In fact, we chose Hero of Many because Trickstar Arts dared to do something differently. Matush Jetschek from Trickstar Arts said in the last Uye developer said that he thinks that no regular publisher would have the nerve to publish a game in which the main characters look like sperm cells. True that. But what Hero of Many really does great is the gameplay. It's a brilliant combination between action, adventure and strategy. The AI is pretty smart and you have to lure your enemies out of their hiding sometimes. Additionally, I felt like the graphics were awesome and unique. In the beginning, everything is great, but the farther you go, the more colorful it gets. A lot of love went into the making of Hero of Many and therefore you should absolutely give this one a try. Another game that surprised me by being totally out of the norm was Poker Solitaire. It is very rare that card games make it to a console. Of course, you can have a card game on your phone or tablet, but playing Poker Solitaire on the Ouya was unexpected fun. I had never played any version of Poker Solitaire before, but the concept was very intuitive and easy. Since I installed Poker Solitaire though, it has helped me to relax quite often. I guess that's why so many folks like playing Solitaire at their works PC. The full version comes with a price tag of 2.99, which I think is totally worth it. You can change the music, background, scoring system and whatnot. Also, you are not affected by the limit of daily plays that's in the free version. Chuck Smith was so kind to supply us with a promo code for Poker Solitaire on the Uya. The first one to leave a comment on YouTube saying Poker Stoker will get the full version for free. Death by OMG WTF Games is another example of a unique game that has found its home on our lovable system. In essence, Death is a tower defense game, but then again, it's much more than that. For one, you actually have a story that guides you through the levels. Additionally, your enemies behave like ants and move in chaotic patterns. Each hostile unit follows a certain path laid out by the unit before it, sort of like a pheromone trail. That type of behavior makes every level unique and challenging. So if you are a tower defense addict like me, prepare to be challenged by death. Worth your time in any case. While the other games this week were all mentally demanding, dead rushing is good old smashing fun. You have the huge choice between pressing two buttons. Either you jump or you beat your way through the zombie hordes. This simplicity is what makes dead rushing so appealing. Sometimes you just need a game to blow off some steam and not think about anything. That's when you need to play dead rushing. Yet, this game isn't just good because it's simple. It's also good because the graphics are actually well done. In a nutshell, if you want simple and pretty fun, go with dead rushing. Oh, what is that? You want a game that is a little bit more sophisticated? How about Tales of Illyria? Yes, I know this game is weird. If you're not into RPGs, you can stop watching now. If you have the slightest interest in games like AD&D or even the Ultima series, you will like Tales of Illyria. This game is back to the roots as rooty as you can get. It tells you when you succeeded in a hunting check or missed a discovery check, just like in the good old days. The story is quite interesting as well and Tales of Illyria cannot be finished in one setting, that much is guaranteed. The graphics are rather simplistic and a lot of the game is text based. If that doesn't scare you, you are in for a treat. It doesn't happen that often that I get sucked into the story that easily. 
but because the focus of Little Killers wasn't on creating the best effects. The storyline they are telling is well structured and not dumbed down for our FPS generations. One thing that I found particularly conspicuous was that all side quests are generated randomly from a pool of quests, so no one will have the same gaming experience as you. Pretty cool if you ask me. When I'm done with this recap, it's time to get back to Eric and get revenge for the death of his family. So this is it again for this week. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a comment, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and supporting Uya. You rock!